Hello everyone, Prakalati here. We're going to jump into the React JS tutorial. So this tutorial is coming to you from the Practical IT. We provide like the IT professional courses and trainings. And if you're interested, you can learn more at the HTTPS, the practicalit.com. But for this one, we'll be more interested in focusing on the React JS and we'll dive into that. So with that, there are like a couple of house cleaning that we have to do in that before you join and then just take this tutorial there are an assumption that you are already familiar with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which we are going to call them as the basics or the pillars of the web development. And also you are familiar with the newer version of the JavaScript, which is also called like ECMAScript um, 6 or more. And you have a basic programming concept regarding like the JavaScript, which means you know what the logic uh, is on how you're going to be just working on a logic, the if case, the while, the functions, the objects, and all that stuff, which are parts and parcels of the JavaScript, you already know them, and that's also the assumption. And in last, um, we expect that you have like a little bit of an idea what a framework is, so that you're not completely new to the idea of like a library or a framework, but that's not a big deal anyway. At least we expect that you have uh, gone through like one of like the libraries or a framework, which as an example is going to be uh, Bootstrap or uh, jQuery from the past, or even you know just anything which is used as a framework or a library. With that said, let's jump into ReactJS. So what is it? We're going to jump, uh, we're going to go through this one like a little bit faster because this one is a boring point. Um, JavaScript is an advanced JavaScript library. So we know what a JavaScript is and a library is going to be the one as the name implies, which contains like multiple um, libraries or you know just usable kind of tools which would make our life easier. And we're going to go through them like line by line as we go further. And not only the JavaScript, the uh, React, but also there are numerous kinds of like the libraries or frameworks out there. And as of now, it is uh, React, which is getting like a lot of traction. So that's why we are going to be just using more of our um, tutorials to understand that one. And it is easy to pick. Uh, it has more of the style uh, for, uh, for anyone who is familiar with an HTML and the JavaScript. And the, the style of the programming, the way how it's going to be just doing its task is more compromised with that one. So if you have like a little bit of an understanding on how the HTML, how the JavaScript is working, then you're going to feel more at home by taking the ReactJS. And the other brownie point by using the ReactJS is you are going to be like a very good web developer, that's for sure, but also you are going to make your way um, toward this like the mobile developer one or two or even more steps near to the mobile developer because there is a cousin of the ReactJS called like the React Native, which is for the mobile. So by taking that one, you're going to be just also take a time uh, to take an opportunity uh, to be a mobile developer because they are relatively the same. With that, let's jump into an introduction. Again, a little bit of like a warning here. It's, it's a little bit of a boring point, but it's going to be just a helping uh, part of it as well. So um, now the, the first question is, why would I be interested? Why would I put like an additional burden to myself by learning one more stuff? I already know HTML, I already know CSS in JavaScript. I can build the website. Well, I'm okay with that. Now that's true. So there is no, there is no any additional contestant we're going to do on this. If you know HTML, CSS and JavaScript, then yeah, you can do the website. And that's the basic uh, thing that you need to know apart from like additional things, but you know, like the, everything which is in CSS, HTML and JavaScript is good enough. The question is when this one is going to be just useful if you are um, creating like a very small sized HTML, that's a uh, website, sorry, and that is concerning like, uh, you know, just not too much of like the activity with the user, probably it is more of like the informational, then in that case, yeah, you know, just uh, with the basics, you can go, you can go in and just do that one. The problem is if the solution that you're providing, which is your website is getting bigger, then, then only then in that case, you know, like the basics of the HTML, CSS and JavaScript might not be good enough for you. Um, 
it is going to be just very tedious, very error uh, uh, problematic, and you know, just it's not going to work that way. So if it is bigger, then you need even more just to work on that one. And think of like the React as a tool. Okay, so this is something which is going to useful on, on top of like utilizing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And note that React doesn't replace HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It is actually HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but it is a tool which would make development with, um, with the, the development of the website much more fun and easy. And the other big point on this one to point, it, to point is when you are uh, creating the website, the website can be surfed from multiple combinations of the operating system, browser, and devices. So one could be uh, using your or surfing your website from a Windows on a Chrome a browser and with, with a desktop computer. Uh, please, again, just don't use any of like the Internet Explorer, at least I think on the edge, they are getting bigger, that they are getting better, but you know, just in general, we're going to avoid from that one. At, at least we have like a, a bad, bad experience in the past. But anyway, like the other person can also um, uh, surf your website from their mobile device or from their tablet. So as you can see, like we have like three different parts and then their combination could get a little crazy. And how do you maintain the fact that whatever you are working on on your development is also viewed and then without, without having any problem when it is viewed by another combination? Let's say you are working on Windows Chrome desktop. How about like when I'm viewing it on a mobile device, which is on Android, and probably my own uh, browser. So in that case, utilizing like the framework would make life easier because they take into consideration, they do like a lot of testing and then those kinds of problems are going to be just reduced. Going further, um, the other advantage is the community. As you go uh, on programming, as you know, the, we, we are going to get a problem. We're going to stuck for a minute or, or an hour in some, in some cases. So you need, you know, just someone to tap your, your back and then say, hey, hey, no worry, like, you know, just we, we got this one. Now, in that case, it is only possible when you are working on, on a framework because a lot of people are working on that. So someone has already gone through your problem or will know uh, what the solution for that one is and they're going to show you that one. So that's also another advantage. Um, and the, the, as a software, as a tool, you know, just over a period of time, it's going to have like its own flaws it's going to have a problem on a security or um, performance or bugs and all that stuff is going to be just taken care of for you by using a framework. All you have to do would be just to update. Of course, um, when you are updating, there is also like another nightmare, like it might not work, but for the majority of the case, at least to know that there is a problem and then at least to, to give you a chance that you can fix it by yourself is also another advantage. And companies uh, are going to be just much more interested uh, for you as, as a programmer first. And then next, they're going to be just interested on what kind of um, framework you are picking up so that they're, you're going to be just in line with their, their framework uh, uh, product. Now, it doesn't matter like which one you're picking. There are like a numerous amount of jobs out there, whether you are a React developer or Angular developer or newer ones, uh, which are going to be just coming next year or even like tomorrow, who knows? Uh, but, but in general, it is going to be just advisable to be at least on one or two of them to have like a better acceptability in the industry as well. Now, I have said too much about it. So let's go to the action and then let's do it. Now the installation, after the installation, we're going to do a very simple rundown of like the hello world of like the rec. But before that, we're going to be introduced to the node, which is basically you can think of it as the framework of like the other framework, or at least the basic, the foundation for the others to be installed on top of it. That's going to be just the node. Um, and we're going to start from that. And by going to the node.js.org uh, uh, en slash download, and then depending on your, your laptop, whether you are on Windows or on a Mac, you can download that one. We're going to show you that one if the side by side. And then once we are done with it, then we're going to follow some of like the commands over here. And we're going to get our first React to go up and running. So I'll see you on the next video on how to perform those kinds of things. And thank you for your attention.